Welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about packages. Now in Java if we talk about inbuilt classes, so there are like approximately thousands of classes which is inbuilt, right? So if we talk about the JRE in which you have lots of inbuilt uh, classes, we can also use third party classes, right? Example if you're working with JDBC, you're working with servlet, you're working with all different frameworks, we use external libraries, right? So what we do, we have different different classes and we classify those classes depending upon their uh, their working, depending upon their use. So we'll, we'll put those classes in one particular folder. Example, all the IO package or all the IO classes, which is input output classes, will be inside IO package. All the networking classes, so like socket, uh, server socket, this will be inside .NET package. And then let's say you're working with JDBC. So it will be all the classes and interface will be inside Java to SQL package. Now what that means is we have all these classes classified in, in a particular format and they are put into one particular folder and that folder in Java they are called as packages. Now why we require this package, package concept? Why not put all different classes, all the files in one particular folder? You know what we do as humans or as music listeners so what we do we we in your computer if you have a windows installation so in, we'll, we'll be having d drive e drive right our c drive is os the d drive will be multimedia and inside your d drive what we'll have we have songs we have uh, movies we have games and inside songs if you go to songs there will be new songs old songs and inside uh, then we'll be having inside new songs we'll be having sad songs motivational songs will be holding all the stuff right inside sad songs will be having uh, ultimate sad songs will be having mild sad songs so for a particular song it will belong to one folder right so let's say you want to listen to okay any extreme sad song what you will do you will go to your d drive you will, you will go to music you will go to new songs you will go to sad songs and inside that you will go to ultimate sad songs right this is the path you will follow that means if you want to listen to all ultimately sad songs you will go to that particular folder play all so when you say play all you're talking about all extremely sad songs let's say you're very happy now and you want to listen to any uh, rock music you will go to a rock folder and then you will say select all and play now you don't want while playing sad, a rock song you want to listen to a sad song of course not right so while your mood is rocking you should listen to rock, rock songs and that's why you should classify all the songs as per their uh, type right in the same way, all your classes and interfaces in Java, they are classified in a particular folder and that folder is called as package. Now question arises: if you are creating your own package, what you should name it? You need to make sure that whatever package you create should be unique throughout the world. Example, if you talk about the IO package in Java, which is java.io, which is unique throughout the world, right? No one, no one has a package which is java.io. Now let's say you want to create your own package, what it should be. So if you if you keep it demo, what will happen is other people will also have this name demo, right? How to make it unique? So your package name should be or it must be the middle of your domain name. So let's say if your domain name is google.com, so your package name should be com.google. Makes sense, right? Because if you have a domain name which is unique throughout the world, example google.com is unique, right? No one else has a google.com domain other than Google. So if they have a package name which is com.google, for sure, no one can replicate that package name. Now if I talk about my website, so my website name is telisco.com, so package name I'm using for my project is com.telisco. So I have made sure that no one else in the world will be using the same package. Now this is very important when you, when you talk about Android projects, when you talk about Maven projects, so because we need a unique package name there. So that's how you have to provide a package name. So you can also put package inside a package. You can say com.telisco.test. So your, all your test modules will be inside test package. So we'll be having your classes will be inside test and then test package will be inside telisco and telisco will be inside com. Now let's say in the telisco package we have which is com and then we have telisco. So in the telisco package we have lots of classes. Let's say we have five classes and inside test we have four classes. I want all four classes of test. So what we can do is we can say com dot telisco dot test dot star so when you say start it will fetch all the classes from the test folder now you want all the classes from telisco so you can simply say com dot telisco dot star but now you want a class you want all the classes from test so can we can we do com dot telisco dot star will it fetch all the test classes and the answer is no because it will only fetch the classes not the folder because telisco or test is the folder right as a package so it will not go inside the package it will, it will take outside or outside files which is inside telisco but outside test so that's how you should use packages in your project
So once we have seen the theory of packages, let's talk about the example of it. So as you can see in this example, from a long time we are writing lots of codes, right? And all these codes are in different files. So we can, we, we can, you can see we have worked on inner classes. Uh, we have talked about interface. We have talked about operators. We have talked about static keyword. So if you talk about all these files here, it is just maybe 12, 13 files. In a real environment, you'll be having maximum files, right? So if you have lots of examples, if you have lots of files, it is always better to put your files inside a package. Now, how to, how to get a package? So right click on your package name, I mean default or SRC here. We say new package and we can provide a package name. So we can give any package name, but as we seen in the theory that your package name should be a reverse of your domain name. So I will use my domain name here, which is telesco.com and the reverse of it is com.telesco. I will click on finish. And you can see we got our package here. And now from this package, uh, from this package, I can create some new files. I can say class and I will name this class as let's say ABC. Again, I can have any class name. In fact, I can repeat the class name. Example, you can see here we have class for inner demo. Let's create the same class inner demo. You can see we have two classes inner demo, inner demo. It is still working. The thing is they both are in different package, right? And that's what is working. So this inner demo is in this package and this inner demo is an open file which is the default package. So that's how you create a package. Uh, it is always better to put all your classes, different classes into different packages for the maintenance. So that's about packages, that's how you create a package. In the next video we'll talk about uh, how to restrict the access of particular class methods and variables. So that's it.